we can do it all right right yes 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 hello everybody my name is liz and i'm the dyer behind trilly's yarns i'm based in greece athens where i live with my dog the kind and my cat sushi so welcome today from the studio where i'm actually dyeing some yarn so maybe you can hear some background noise i'm sorry for that but you know multitasking is a great virtue i will say <laughs> So if you're here for the first time, welcome. And uh, today I'm going to be uh, talking about a Christmas knit along that I want to organize. In my last episode, I talked a bit about it, but I hadn't any idea of details or more details to tell you. But now I am here with my notes and I'm ready. So are you ready? <laughs> So first of all, this knit along will start uh, on the 25th of December, 2024, and it will end the 1st May of 2025. So there's plenty of time for you to knit and finish your project because for me, it is more important for you to enjoy the process. And I don't want you to stress to knit something that wasn't in your program. So you can do, you know, whatever you wanted to knit and on the side, knit one of the two projects that I'm going to uh, propose to you. So yeah, there you go. Because usually knit alongs, you get hyped and you want to do it and then you, you know, just rush and you're excited, of course, to be a part of the community and all that, but then it's a bit more difficult to get back to those whips that are waiting. So yeah. <laughs> I don't want to cause any stress to anybody. We can do it all, right? Right. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so uh, the two projects. So we have a sweater and we have a cowl. Both of the designs are by Andrea Mari, which is a total uh, coincidence. I was about to propose only the sweater, but then she came uh, up uh, with... Um, this cowl and I find it beautiful and I was like hmm, maybe some people wouldn't like to do a sweater and they would like to do a cowl or vice versa so you can choose either one of them or both of them yeah <laughs> you can knit the sweater for yourself and make a gift of the cowl or the other way again so it is the Evanfall by Andrea Mari and the Frame Your Face by Andrea Mari both of them pictures pictures over here so yeah, there's lots of what color work involved. And I'm very happy with that because you know, color is power, fiber is our weapon and all the jazz. So yeah, before talking about more specifically uh, for the designs and uh, what yarns I'm proposing to you and all that, I want to say that the knit along will be um will be taking taking place on discord where i know how to have a server so yeah i will put the link down in the description and to partake on the knit along you should have trillies yarns so either trillies yarns that you had already purchased or that you will be purchasing up until we we start this beautiful adventure yeah um so i will have pre-orders uh kits for the knit along until um the end of october maybe until beginning of november but you know around that time frame and there will be specific like kits and all that now i have also general pre-orders um until the end of september of uh, colorways and different other bases so if you want to choose another base from what i'm suggesting for the kids that's totally fine you can do it it's just that uh, you know be a bit more aware of uh, you know the pre-orders time frame and to choose the base that you want so the evanfall by andrea Murray. i actually um those who have seen the last um, episode know that I have started making it because 
in the beginning it was just you know a sweater that i want to make and sample one of my new bases Mires, which is 100 percent gentile di lucania wool and it's very nice and very bouncy i love it like guys i love it so the evan fall sweater by andrea mari she uses light fingering um it's a dirty wool that she uses so it's a virgin wool and it's quite plumpy and uh, Mires is a fingering weight yarn it's 200 meters the 50 grams and it's also very plump and sturdy and um, you will end up with the same gauge the only difference that i did is that she knits her uh her version in three and a half i knitted in 375 but it's very very close if you want uh so the kits uh that i will be putting up um on pre-orders will have either Mires as a base to choose from or my other new uh, base Samskara which is 60% super fine merino with 40% recycled yak and cashmere so you can listen to the kind she's moving around don't worry it's normal so yeah so either Mires and some or Samskara or there will be some kids that maybe have both of them uh, using both of them um the difference uh if you want something softer like totally buttery very soft i would suggest to go with the samskara base if you want something more sturdy but soft like i'm i think i'm a snob of scratchy wool and all that this isn't scratchy it is fine wool it isn't as um as soft as merino but is it's amazing and super warm like really guys look at those colors i know so i put uh, a second needle um for uh, some of my stitches so i can try it up um so for me to show you how it looks so sorry the pity is that i've put the stitches of my sleeves on hold into some yarn so they're a bit more squishy but it's okay so she goes on for um to do this beautiful pattern until 23 centimeters from the underarm so i think right here i'm at uh, 17 so it will be over here and then the ribbing and i love it like look how cute it is yeah I am cute with it. I'm so happy. You know, I'm full of myself. I know it's okay. We should be full of ourselves, right? Because come on, who is gonna be if not us? And like, especially with our knits. <laughs> okay, so I'm using a reality to experience for the background color. So you can see it has little pops of colors here and there. Then as the second country uh the first sorry oh my god <laughs> so the first contrasting color is let's get drunk so this is all in mirrors base and you can see how let's get drunk is more bluish and purples but it has also pinks so it will do some pulling as you can see over here but because the stitch is actually making like little squares it's it's just mingled so nicely it has this mosaic vibe that i love i love so don't be wary to about pulling or about oh my god this is too you know busy as a yarn just go for it go for it i think the most important is for your three colors to have contrast in between them but if they have some colors that are matchy don't worry it's like really don't worry like this one has and blues and orange and this one has pinks it also has a bit of orange you know like over here and you can see the contrast right and second contrasting color is my favorite manawi 
yes so manawi is an orange with pinks sometimes you can have a bit more of a yellow like maybe this skin or lighter orange um it's a very vibrant color i love it i love it i love it so um for um I've taken pictures of kids that are very vibrant, especially in the mirror space. Others that are more classic. I have also one that looks very much like the original that uh, Andrea made for hers, like the same colors. Um, like it's not the same colors as I'm a different dyer, but very near to them. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna take a moment to take off of this because it's really warm and also with the dyeing that's going on in the next to me Oof. yeah okay yes thank you for allowing me this uh, striptease moment <laughs> like what yes so that is the Evanfall sweater and uh, if you don't want to do it either with Mires or Samskara, you can totally go and pick up your colors and uh, choose another base wh while the pre-orders are up. So the general pre-orders of all colorways with multiple bases are going to be up until end of September. Uh, the pre-orders for the kits until end of October, beginning of November. And I might, if I have the time to have a second round of all the colors and all pre-orders or most of them again, beginning of November. So crossing fingers that everything's gonna be good. I will put a time frame of the pre-orders under in the description so you know, uh, yes, depending, you know, what you prefer to do but I really do invite you to to go with Miris or Samskara or a mix of it. Why I'm saying a mix of it? Because Samskara is um, uh, yeah, it's way softer and it's really beautiful, but it's a gray base because of the recycled yak and cashmere. So the colors aren't as vibrant as you can find them in Miris, which is a white ecru base so over here it's a samskara you can see the colors are more muted than over here when you have needed right uh so yeah just go for it trust me trust me they're really beautiful yeah when i say trust me i always think of my colorway do you trust me and uh, i hadn't done it for a while and uh, two days ago i uh, I made some some skeins of it and I'm like damn it I love this color yeah anyways yeah parentheses yeah then for the cow for the cow so frame your face cow I had um, chosen three other colors to do originally my sweater and uh, I have them over here and normally, so she has, she has, um, uh, how do you say? She has instructions on her pattern to do it as a, with a spore weight or uh, worsted. So, <clears throat> Mires and Samskara, it's a fingering weight, right? It's 200 meters, 50 grams. She uses 50 grams, 150 meters. So I would say that because it's a very plumpy yarn and it's, you know, swells up, especially after you block it, I would totally use Mires for the sport version of it. And then she says worsted, but um, yeah, I, I would invite you to use my, I call it a DK, but it's actually worsted because the, um, the basic worsted like the most um how do you say classic worsted it's 200 meters 100 grams and my dk gaia is 212 meters so it's just a bit you know thinner so yeah so i would suggest to either take uh, mires for the sport version or samskara 
or then pre-order uh, Gaia DK uh, for the worsted version. And um, I've um, I've scrunched a bit the numbers uh, for the meters, so you would need two skeins of each color if you do the sport weight version. I had three colors of, you know, because I originally caked them for the sweater and it has three colors. So I'm not sure if I will have enough. I think I will definitely need a third, uh, either a fourth color or maybe a second color of a skin but I wanted to play with colors so I think I might just grab another color and yeah but the kits that I will be proposing you will have two different colors but if you want to do like me and choose four different colors or three different colors I will leave the um, the Mires uh, pre-order listing also um, available to you so you can choose either for your sweater different colors than the kits because maybe you don't like one of the kits that i'm proposing or you know you just mix and match and do whatever you want uh, if you do the worsted so you'd have to pre-order gaia dk so the gaia dk in pre-orders will be available yeah with the, all the other bases, so not the whole time. And then you'll need two skeins for the main color and one skein for the contrasting color. Um, but I will try to do, I will see how I'm gonna do it. I will try to just propose, you know, two colors and then choose the base um, between Mires or DK Gaia and then, you know, the size, like if you would need uh, two and one or two and two. Anyways, that's for me to figure out, but don't worry. Uh, but yes, if you prefer Gaia and to choose other colors than what I'm suggesting, the best thing is to pre-order before end of September. Otherwise, send me an email and I'll try to look it up. If I don't reply immediately, it's okay don't send me like five emails in a day because that has happened recently and it wouldn't make me you know reply sooner because when i reply emails i just sit and i am focused and then i reply to them okay so don't worry i'll see them um if i haven't reply after two days maybe then it has gone to spam and like you know you can just you know, just say, talk, talk, please, can you help me? And I'll be back again. But please do not send me five emails in a day, please, really. Okay, so that's that for the From Your Face cow. I'm not gonna talk anymore about the pre-order schedule. I will put it down below and it will be on Discord. I have put, um, a conversation uh, about the sweater and about the the cow and there will be you know like choose like a general uh, chit chat and then uh, you know fit uh, like a whip conversation and then uh, a finished projects um, other you know section of a chat for the sweater and for the um, and for the cow uh and then uh and then uh, uh, i'm sorry i'm like there's too much i i want to say i'm trying to be focused okay and then gifts so it will depend how many we are in this knit along but i figured out that for every 15 people like 10 or 15 people depending how many we are I can give a gift. Some gifts might be, you know, bigger, smaller, whatever. And I just looked some ideas of gifts that I'm putting on the side slowly, slowly is like one kit to make the Alalis shawl and you have the pattern inside printed with 50 grams of BFL. Yes, BFL. So there you are. 
These were really pretty. I should make more of them. Yes. And it was really fun to make them. So they are like these show kits, um, a sock kit that I did for Lana Box last January. Uh, then I have some uh, some skins, two colors that they were like supposed you know trials of different colors and sock yarn but they didn't make the cut but uh, you know why not to give them away so one of, of a kind colorways and so on uh, and i found also on my stash so this now is like vintage so i don't know if you remember a few years back oh my god an eternity back before covid that it was Countess of Blaze that did a colorway my tits out. Uh, no, it wasn't the colorway. It was, yeah, it was somebody copied her her colorway and anyways. And then she said, if I wanted uh, exposure, I would I'll get my tits out. And then she invited many many dyers to do you know, a, like a version of their colorway. So that was my version of my colorway and i had named it back in the day powerful tits and i was uh after that summer to to scotland and then a uh, gamer craft she did um she did a sock uh, a 50 gram and we had put them together and we were giving them uh, as uh, sets and i have one left over here that or I kept for me, I don't even remember. So that could also be a gift, you know. So yeah, so that's all the things. So what you need to do is choose. Do you want a sweater or do you want a cow? You go to my pre-order or both. You want to my pre-orders, links down below. You buy it, then you go to the Discord channel and you get in and you say hi, you say what colors you've chosen and that you're excited because I am and all that. And if you are going to be in one of those festivals, you can choose your uh, colors with me. I will help you and um, yeah, it will be really great. I just can't wait. Um, yes i really just can't wait uh, i will try to have everything set up when this is gonna come up in the air and always be wary that if you want your sweater to have longer sleeves or a longer body just go either way a size up or um you know just uh, pre-order one more skein of the color that you need okay Yes, so I'm very happy. Thank you for joining the podcast. Thank you for taking the time for listening all this information. And I just can't wait to share more of those two new bases, either you choose them or not with you. And so if you are in the following festivals, now I'm gonna say them because yeah, my mind is all over the place. So end of september in two weeks less than two weeks i will be in nantes bière hélène um so uh it's a smaller festival it's the first time that i'm going so i'll be very happy to see you then i will be in mid-october at the neat eat in lyon yes then in November I will be Ochti Bazar, which is in the at Lille, in the northern part of France. Yes, lots of friends this fall. And then the next weekend I will fly from yeah the northern part of France to um, to Barcelona Nice, which is in Spain. So hopefully I'll get to see you very very soon and. Um, Otherwise, I'll be here. And don't forget, color is power, fiber is our weapon.